Kim Burke from One on One in State College, Pennsylvania again. And with me today, I've got Adam Pankhorn. Adam, what are we going to talk about? Well, today, Kim, we're going to talk about youth athletic readiness training. Our biggest priority with youth athletic readiness training is injury prevention. We got these young kids coming in, they just don't have that prep work that they once had to fight off shoulder injuries, knee injuries, back injuries, yeah. ankle injuries. So our biggest thing with this is to prevent those injuries from happening to get them ready for their competitive sports. Very good, very good. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the video. We'll talk a little bit more specifically about how those injuries happen, and then okay. uh, we'll wrap it up, all right? All right. Good. Kim, we're going to start by taking a look at this half kneeling stretch. You can see they've got these down rods here. They're pushing those into the ground. That's going to help turn their cores on reactively. Uh, they're using their back glutes to get a nice stretch on their hip flexors. Here we're going to start into some arm drive, get a little bit more dynamic. Then we're going to add an ankle rock into that. Here they go into their ankle rock using that arm drive. Uh, you can kind of see here with Ryan, he's got his, uh, his left glute on a little bit more than Gilly. Gilly's a little flexed at the hip. So Ryan can get in here and get this big stretch coming into that rock, into that rock there, gets those arms going with that big stretch. Very good. Good. You can really see it there at that angle. Now, Kim, we got them up on their feet doing a posterior reach. Mm -hmm. We're loading up their front core by decelerating their body weight relative to gravity. Very it's going nice. to apply a little bit more to Gilly here because he's got that med ball up overhead. You can see Ryan's just got that line of pull from the table. Yeah, good. All right, wow, this looks tough. Single leg, posterior reach. How applicable is that to sport? Very good. Anybody that's throwing a ball or reaching back to catch a ball, they've got to be doing this. That's right, Kim. Now let's look at this anterior reach. For that posterior reach, we were loading up the front core. With this, we're loading up the back core, mm -hmm. primarily hitting glutes and hamstrings. They're working here at a pretty straight leg here, on that bottom leg. Mm -hmm. you, can, you could work that with a lot of flexion, that knee coming forward, getting triple flexion at the ankle, knee, and hip. Yeah, good. You know what I really like about this, too? Look at the way they're using that arm drive there, really mimicking running mechanics. Now we're moving right on into a big old wood chop. And you know, what's great about this exercise is it's demonstrating all the stuff we've already worked. We've worked a lot of hip mobility. We've worked a lot of ankle mobility. And in the meantime, we were encouraging and inspiring knee stability and just a lot of core stability. What athlete doesn't need that? That's right, Kim. And let's not forget about the shoulder mobility That's like right. we're seeing at the top of those wood chops and those posterior reaches. I'm glad I showed you those exercises because they really show the importance of hip mobility, shoulder mobility, and core stability. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at uh, some stability in the lower kinetic chain with some single leg myelin theory. Well, Adam, I understand how important it is for an athlete to be able to negotiate gravity, especially when they're on a single leg. I mean, when you're running, you're moving from a one-legged stance to another single-legged stance. Speaking of negotiating gravity, one of the primary causes of injuries with young athletes is their inability to decelerate their body center of mass relative to gravity. Let's take a look at these box jumps. I like box jumps because they train acceleration and deceleration. The takeoff is the acceleration portion. It's not perfect here, but let's focus more on the deceleration, their landing mechanics. We want to land with a nice level pelvis. We don't want the knees or the ankles caving in. Let's take a look at the progressions that we're seeing with these box jumps. We started off with a two-legged takeoff to a skip down landing, and we progressed to a two-legged takeoff to a two-legged landing. Now we're getting into some single leg work. We're going to start with a single leg jump up to a skip down and then progress to a single leg jump up with a single leg jump down. Finally, Kim, I want to show you these skaters. I like multi-directional skaters. They're more sport specific. Right now we just have the girls simply uh, working in the frontal plane side to side and then you can start throwing in some more oblique angles at them. Mm -hmm. So this I see, we're getting another opportunity to work on their landing mechanics, decelerating, gravity. And this is kind of cool how you have them working a leader and a follower trying to keep up with each other. Right. Thanks so much, Adam. That was a lot of really good stuff. You know, those exercises that you had those kids doing there, that's not what I typically see in a, in a regular gym setting. But, you know, I can really see how those, those tight structures are inhibiting their ability to move properly. And, and it looked like you, you nailed the tight things and you strengthened the weak things. Good stuff. That's right. You can really see how these exercises can uh, prep them for the movements that they're going to see on the field in their sports, and it's really going to help them to reduce any injuries with their sport. Yeah. Good. All right. Thanks.